Every jigsaw puzzle needs a box. So I made this, I bought this box die and I made this box. <clears throat> and the, um, the box fit the puzzle pieces well, right? So I think it could have even gone in a smaller box, but this box requires special paper. 11 by 17 doesn't fit. And so you have to go a size up. But where to get that paper? And actually, not just paper, cardboard. Because this is very flimsy, not good enough. So I was very stressed because I wasn't sure where to get my box. And here we are, here we were. Today is Comic Con Day. Here we were a day before Comic Con, and I didn't have a box. And so I went, I called this guy, I looked up printers, because I said printers do posters and things like that. Get this, this is pre-pandemic paper, cardboard, cardstock. Check that out, pre-pandemic, that's like legendary historical even, right? The other thing that's interesting about this is this cardstock you cannot get anymore right now. It is in short supply because of supply chains. There we go. So now we're going to work on making these boxes. And I promised him, the guy at Innovation Print, that I would bring back my die so he could see what it looked like. And then I think what he's going to do is test it out to see if maybe this can be something he and his wife do together, right? Which is kind of fun, right? A creative thing, doing it with your fam, right? Okay, but anyway, for me, I got a nice thing to make my box out of. Nice paper. I just, I had to buy this because it fits the new bigger die for the box I bought. <laughs> There's a lot of shopping going on here. Um, and I'm reading that it says, uh, you know, the, the board has two sides. I'm kind of wondering which side is the side to put to the foam. So I am going to put the harder side to the foam. This one was, I think, the same material on both sides. So anyway, hope that's right. Okay, for this size paper, I actually needed to um, angle it, darn it. But uh, now I'm going to try to salvage this, see what happened here. I'll use a little bit of that spray to stick it all together. And here it is, a box, but it needs a label. So that comes next, but first I'm going to cut the rest of the boxes. The question was, can we get two boxes out of this larger paper, which has, um, is one inch shorter in length? And I don't think so, um, because I just don't. I'm looking at it, we're going as close to the edge as we can, risking the possibility that uh, not really risking the possibility that it'll come out. So I'm gonna um, try to do that anyway. I'm gonna um, cut it. I'm just thinking. Okay, I'm going to cut it to shape and then, yeah, we'll see. I think I might be able to get two out of it if I cut the first one on this side with the paper and then I got I got to make sure if I cut it straight I won't um, be able to use the paper the other side but then I could flip it and then possibly have enough I'm not sure okay I'm using an old cut as a template so if I cut it just like this it's not gonna work so I gotta try to save as much paper as I can for the off chance that I can get another one in the other direction. So now, the paper that I cut for the die, I'm going to actually cut it like this, so that I have a chance of getting a second one. I think this is gonna work. I cut one, pushing it all the way to the edge here, and then I, this is the other half, and it looks like it will fit. Barely, but it will fit. I can get two from one sheet of the bigger paper.